Hello, this is the cheeky check-in for, I believe it's October 16th. It's a Wednesday. I probably won't get, be able to post this till later because I got a dentist appointment this morning. So you'll probably not be able to see this till later afternoon. Dentist, then work. But look how the, I noticed this last night when I checked in on them. Both of them were on that perch. Both little chickies were on that perch. It was really cute. Okay, and I told you I was going to show you my setup, winter setup. And I know heat lamps are, eh, it's a controversial topic. But here's what I do to help warm, warmth. I do have uh, insulation on the bottom. I think, well, I don't have the carpet in. I might, I might take all this straw and put the carpet back in. I have carpet squares. I usually have carpet squares down here. But I do have this plastic. These are um, salt for the water softener, rock salt for the water softener. And I put that on there in case anything uh, spills, like their water or, you know, defecation, whatever. So, it because these are tiles under there, and I don't want the tiles to separate. So I put the plastic under there. We use the bags for plastic. Then here I got, this time I got cardboard on there. I don't always put the cardboard on there. Um, so that insulates a bit. I do have some packing materials over here to insulate the sides. Uh, the straw helps insulation, keeping it warm, instead of just being on this cold tile. And I've insulated up here. I didn't, I didn't want to ruin, do permanent damage to the chicken coop. So I um, believe I hot glued it. It takes a lot of hot glue. I, I had to really work on this over the years. If you watch my other videos of Living Frugally. It took me many years to get this to actually stay up because I just wasn't putting enough hot glue on there. There's no staples in that. And that is carpet padding. Uh, I think it's all carpet padding, if I'm not mistaken. There is a little bit of carpet over here for my carpet squares that I cut down. Carpet squares on the side that I cut down. Carpet squares over there. Even the door has a carpet on there. Now that's uh, reused. I, I got that from some of it from a church. Just people throwing it away. And some of it stunk like smoke, so I had to let it sit out in uh, on the uh, clothesline for many days. Now my <clears throat> water is insulated too. We were worried about that, but I think that's far enough away from the heat lamp. That is a ceramic heat bulb right there. And it's on, uh, what do you call that? Not a timer, but one of them ones where it turns on. Thermostat, I guess you'd call it. It turns on when it reaches a certain temperature. I believe it's 32 degrees. And then it shuts off once it gets up to 50 degrees. So it doesn't stay on the whole time. I've tried them red bulbs. Them scare me. Also tried the white bulbs, the old-fashioned white bulbs, them scare me. I don't even know if they make them anymore now with the CFL. I know I'm talking fast, but I gotta get to, gotta get going, because I gotta go to the dentist. Oh, look at that, even like the little cubbies. I carpeted them, again, doing them, the uh, corners like that, a lot of hot glue. And clamps. <laughs> I'd use clamps to get it to, you know, so it would stay long enough for it to seal. So that's my, this coop is by, I th think it was called greenchickencoops.com is where we got it. It was, a Mar it was recommended by Martha Stewart. The company is no longer in business. But if you look up there, there's vent windows. I got them closed right now. Two vent windows over there. We opted, I believe there was just one set of cubbies and you could opt for a higher price. You could opt for another set of cubbies and we really didn't need both cubbies apparently because I never had enough chickens that were laying in this thing. So 
Yeah, but it's nice to have the extra space to use if you need it and give them more space to walk around in. So this is my insulation for the winter. Again, that heat lamp is ceramic and it's not on all the time, it's on a thermostat. And we have it connected to the garage because this is outside. We have it connected into the garage using uh, outdoor rated extension cord. I would like to show you the doors too. The doors, they have the little windows. They can come, you know, come out. This one cracked. I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I don't know how to get another window. And we got this other one. Sorry about the jiggling. We've got to move. There's another one the other side right here. Now what we did to protect it against raccoons who are very, uh, well, they get into stuff. We put these. Now these weren't on there originally. This was on here. This was on. Oh, let me see. You do it this way. You put this first. And then this down. <laughs> I'm trying to do this through the camera. Confusing. We put these locks on there so the raccoons, because the raccoons would easily figure that out. And I don't know if we ever had a problem with the raccoons figuring out or we got these on before they did. But we did this with the front door too. You see all it had was this. And we put this on there. Now if you notice, this has a spring-loaded thing that locks it in so they can't just flip it up. They actually have to, you know, push that in. And But you want to make sure that that closes because sometimes it gets stuck, especially in the cold. So anyways, that's how I set up for the winter. There's the outside vent. It's got these little things to lock it in. Sometimes I'll even put a piece of carpet under there because there's a little give there to insulate it when it gets really cold. Anyways... That's my setup. If you disagree with the setup, if you think I'm putting my chickens at risk, leave it, leave it in the comments. It'll bump my video up. But expect me to retort harshly. I've been raising chickens for maybe 15 years now. I think I'm good. <laughs>